What's in that box? I asked myself, but I already know. Um, today I'm going to bring you something new, something a little bit different. It's Harry Potter, but I haven't seen this before. This is a subscription box for Harry Potter Wizarding World licensed uh, collectible statues. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the statues before, but they have like some small like replica statues and they have like the larger statue collectibles of Harry Potter characters. And um, they have the Fantastic Beast ones as well. I think, I don't know if I've like I've ever shown any of the Fantastic Beast ones, but maybe in my old videos you can see them on my desk in my um, in my little like filming room that I usually film in. But the I found this, uh, can I talk today? I've filmed so many videos, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you've probably seen this shirt a million times. But this is something new that I found. Um, after Christmas, I kind of looked into like new subscription boxes. Um, I used to get the Geek Gear Wizardry box. I think I got two of those. I have those two videos. Go check them out. Um, I recently resubscribed to it. It's just, I, I don't always have the money every time, every month to get them. So sometimes I have to cancel it and only get one box and then pick it up again later. But I've also tried the Loot Crate Wizarding World one, which is a little bit more expensive because it's more licensed stuff. Um, so anyways, I've, I've tried a few of those before. So I was looking up other ones as well. And I found um, some subscription boxes through Eagle Moss. And Eagle Moss does collectible things. Um, and so I found a Wizarding World Eagle Moss collection of statues that you can get. So these aren't like mystery boxes because it's like, I keep saying like and um. I'm sorry. My brain is frazzled at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can get these statues and it actually shows you on the website at Eagle Moss. I'll try and link it below, but it will show you which ones you get. So if you keep it over time, you will slowly get each one in the collection. Also, as you increase, as you continue to get the boxes, you can get like an extra add-on. So the first box, I'm supposed to get um, a specific statue that I saw before and an art print. And then the next time there's like maybe a pin or something and eventually it's like, oh, a coffee mug or um, what's the other one? A shirt, <laughs> a shirt, and you slowly get other things with it as well that are Harry Potter themed. So these are actually like Wizarding World brand, Harry Potter brand. Um, and this box here, what really sold me on it is your first box, which is the same for everybody. Like I said, you get the same statues in succession. Uh, is, uh, I almost said what it was. <laughs> Where is my brain? Okay, I think I've had too much coffee today, like trying to stay awake because I've had too much coffee today. Um, but it's $4.95. It was only $4.95 for the first box. Uh, I had to pay for shipping as well, I think. So it, it was a little bit more. But uh, the next box will be uh, $24.99, I think. So each time it'll be $24.99. And for an actual licensed statue, that is a really good price. I will tell you, however, that I'm a little bit worried because I do hear like something kind of loose. Can you hear that? something kind of loose and it feels like it's not really like wrapped super well so cross my fingers that nothing is broken uh so yeah let's let's see i'm gonna open this box and we're gonna see what it is if you like harry potter you should definitely subscribe to my channel because i love harry potter we're actually going to universal in june so you may see some things from that is related to that and if you want to see more of these statues and more things like that, you should totally subscribe and like this video and let me know. <laughs> okay, so opening it up on the inside. Okay, it's got like some bubble packaging. Okay, all right. So yeah, this is from Eagle Moss Collections. It says it's got the Wizarding World on here. I'm not going to show you because it's got my um my address on it. But it says, Dear Ashley Speaks, welcome to Wizarding World Collection. Your in introductory shipment is here and it's Alba Stumbledore. Each hand-painted figurine comes with an a special comes with and a special collector magazine explaining the origin of the figure. The movie it comes from and much more. We appreciate your order and you and are sure you will love collecting the Wizarding World figurine collection. Sincerely Robert Watkins, customer service. Thank you, Robert. Okay, so yeah. So the first figure is Dumbledore. So everybody will get the same thing. If you subscribe now, you will get the Dumbledore. Um, let's see. 
And it came with like this little cool poppily stuff. Um, cool. Okay, so yeah, good. So it wasn't the figure that was rolling around, which is great. Um, it came in the packaging, which I'm so proud it did because I'm not taking these out. If you know me, I don't take anything out of the boxes. When I was a kid, I used to do that. And I literally had like um, a 2000 holiday Barbie that could be worth like a lot of money now. And I took it out of the package and now it looks like crap. And so I kicked myself in the butt for being like that when I was little, but hey, I was a kid. Now I know better. I'm an adult and I know better. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this in the box. Here is, oh wait, there's something. <gasps> it broke. Oh no. How did that break? I'm sad. <laughs> It's in the box. Oh, look at it. So it's the Wizarding World, Albus Stumbledore. He's in front of his lectern. And he's giving a speech. I think this is from, is this from the third movie? I think it is. Did you hear it? Okay, look close. He doesn't have any hands. Both of his hands are down here. That is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I wonder if there's like any kind of policy. I'll have to look that up and just see. Wow, so both his hands came off. Okay. He did, his painting looks a little bit weird too, to be honest, and he's not wearing glasses. So I wonder if his glasses came off too. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I really wanted to love this. I did. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll kind of look and see what they're, if they have any policy on these kind of things. But it's been a while since I got it, so I don't know if I can do anything. Anyways, so here's the back. Got a picture. There's also in this collection, has a character guide on it. So let me read that real quick. The official and de definitive collection of characters from the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast, Beast films meticulously rendered as 1 16th scale models. Yeah, I really hope that they will like fix this for me because I can glue them back on, but that's not the point. Um, so character guide. Every figurine comes with a guide to the character, so it's in the box. Every character is shown in a pose. Each figurine is cast in a specially formulated resin and painted by hand, so that's really cool. And the other ones you can get in here are like Lord Voldemort, Harry Potter, Hedwig, Newt Scamander, the Okami, and a Dementor. So those are some of the other ones that you can get in this series. I think they had a fantastic, well, fantastic pieces in there. No. Okay, so... I really want to like it, but... Okay, let's see what else is in here. We have the um, the collection that you can get. It has the book that shows what you will slowly get over time. Um, unique collection, memorable stuff, relive the movies. Okay, it has like the smaller figures as well. I think that's one of the things you can get. Like you can, is it a different box you can get with the small ones? Maybe. Um, okay, character collector guide. Your model. Discover the origins of your figurine. Character moments. The Wizarding World films are packed with edge of the seat excitement, plot twist, um, key scenes. Okay, this is just telling me what's inside the next thing that I'm about to open. Okay, special gifts. So here's what you can get as being a subscriber over how many ever times that you continue to subscribe, which I don't know if I will now. Um... We'll see. So, like, each shipment, like, you get, like, the binder to put your prints in. You get a special art print box. Every shipment, you get a new art print. So, that binder is pretty cool. Uh, pin badges. You may get, like, a little plinth, a tiny char plinth character, a mug at some point, and a shirt. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much worth it for 20 some dollars for an actual licensed um, figurine that's to scale, like a scale model. Here's my print. This will go perfect in my classroom, which I still haven't done a video on. 
I'm sorry. I have the video footage and I need to just do it. I just got to figure out how to do a voiceover because I want to like voice over the video and kind of tell you about what my classroom was like. But my classroom is Harry Potter themed, so I could totally frame this and put this somewhere in my classroom. Uh, and then I have this. What is this? Okay, it's it's an envelope to keep your print in until you get somewhere to put it special. So it's a little thing you can just, like slide that in. Okay, so that is it. That's all that's in this box. That's very short. But that really cool print and then a handless Dumbledore. <laughs> is one of his hands stuck up there? I don't know. I don't want to take this out, but now I kind of want to. I don't know. I'll look up their policy first just to see if there's a thing about like exchanging if it's broken or something. But they could definitely tell that I haven't opened it. So maybe we'll see what happens. I'll update if I have to. So I emailed them. They responded pretty quick about two or three days after I emailed them. And they said that they would gladly send me another um, statue and that I didn't have to return the first one. So I ended up with two statues. So here is... Um, just saw it. I don't know I'm showing you again. But here's the original one. I kept him in the box. You can hear his hands. You can see his hands are gone. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to open the new one that I got. Okay, so that was the old one. I'm going to put it back here. He's in there. That's the old one uh, that they said I didn't have to return. Here is the new one. Still not open. This to me as kind of a replacement. I don't hear anything rattling in it, so that's a positive sign at this point. Um, so yeah, let's open this and just see if I have an intact figure now. Um, about two weeks since I did the first part of this video. All right, opening it now. All right. Nose. Okay, so on top I have the little shipping label. I am already happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so they sent it to me free of charge. Woohoo! But the new one is not broken. Yay! <laughs> okay, here is the new one that was recent to me. He looks so much better. I mean, his face still looks kind of iffy, but these are hand painted, so I can't complain because this is artistry, guys. But he has his hands intact. All the candles are fine. He still doesn't have glasses, but I'm assuming that since it's so small, they didn't put glasses on him. But there's nothing in the bottom. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I really don't want to take him out. Just because I'm a weirdo. Um, yeah, I really don't want to take him out. Is it okay with you guys? Because as a kid, I used to take everything out of the box. And it could be worth a lot of money now. And I ruined it. So I'm just going to leave him in the box. But you can see he's very finely detailed. Um, he's not broken. I love the detail on the owl. I'm going to show you again. Uh, there's a bad glare. But I love the detail on the owl. His Even his robes. Um, like the cords and everything on his robes. I, I mean, this is really cool. Really in depth. I'm a lot happier now. I'm so glad that he's not broken this time. He looks intact, so there's the back. Okay, so also in this series, so like I said before, I will get all of these eventually, and they're all in the same order for every single person. They're not like random or anything. So I'll end up getting like one after the other. Um, but these are the ones that I will get eventually. So I'm hoping, I'm ready for the alchemy for sure. I'm hoping they don't come in broken. So, yay! I'm very happy. Thank you, Eagle Moss, for replacing this. I'm not sponsored in any way. I, I don't have enough people to be sponsored on here, but just for the sake of saying it. Um, but yeah, thank you, Eagle Moss. I'm very happy that you sent that back to me without any issues. You're very nice. You're very kind. I will continue to get your subscription box. I just wish you'd package a little bit better, but I understand. You know, they're just, they're just statues. I could just go out and buy this if I wanted to. But I like the service that you were providing for me. So, okay, there is the intact Dumbledore. So that finishes the saga of the Eagle Moss statue subscription for Wizarding World of Harry Potter. When I get the next one, you will see the next video. Okay, thank you guys for watching, hanging out with me, for feeling depressed with me, and then feeling happy with me because um, it was broken. No, it's not. 
So thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.